What's up, guys? We're back. And uh, last I checked, we decided to take the rap for this lady over here. And also, she revealed that she's got her daddy's stepdad's gun and stuff. So, uh, I'm not taking my decision back. I'm taking the rap for her. So, I'm going to do it. I can't rat her. I can't leave her hanging. So, what's up? You're giving me a look I haven't seen for a while. What's the problem? Why did you steal the gun? Why steal a gun from your stepdad? You know you're gonna get busted. Or somebody like Nathan will bust me with a cap. Screw that. I need to cover my own back. Your stepdad won't let you off the hook that easy. What the hell does he need another gun for? To mow down Bigfoot cheerleaders? This is all just so scary. I know, Max. But I do feel safer having a 9mm in my pants. Yeah, but... I don't. Well, I don't. Guns make me nervous. You should be playing guitar, not playing with a gun. When assholes stop threatening me with guns, then I'll stop playing with mine. Your gun can't stop a bullet in your back. Max, I'm not looking for trouble. I just want protection. If anybody in this country should have guns, it should be women. Well, you have a point. Still, it's... If you open the window, we can both get the hell out of here. Ugh. For some reason, I have this feeling the dad is just being extremely overprotective. I mean, supremely overprotective. And also, judging from the way he seems, I guess he seems kind of he seems kind of sad, you know. He used to be a military man. He did really good, I'm betting, and now he's a security guard. And he probably has post-traumatic stress disorder or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's get out of here. I don't even know if that's a real tattoo on you. Shit. Oh, hey, we're at the lighthouse. Hmm. That's a beautiful. God damn, that's beautiful. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. You got to get tags. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because you can't wear her? This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Kinda I is. feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Well, you kinda might be. Look at all this goddamn trash. Dangerous drop offs. <laughs> Dude, oh god, yeah. Girl, if you do not get that this guy has something for you, Earth you... Earth so lucky, they can always escape. No, 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 seriously, we gotta talk about this. If you don't get that this guy took an ass whooping for you because he loves you, you need need help. You need to, you probably need to address with him on that, because, seriously. Hey, it's the map. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> So that's what that was. This is the area. This is our campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. How long has that been here? God only knows. So this looks interesting. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we get in here? Nope, we can't get in here. Must be something extra for me to. Oh wait, hello. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Mhm. Mm Can we enter? Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Uh huh. 
Well, we've seen all we need to see, so uh, let's get over to her. Come on, Chloe, what's up? Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. My pleasure. Feels nice out here after all that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Oh no. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. Ah, oh, shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. Oh, God. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. Ugh. Max, it was insane. I want to kick his ass. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Back to the nightmare. Why is this happening to me? I don't know. Why am I here again? Follow the deer. That's all I gotta say. Follow the deer. Is Chloe still up there? 
I have to find out. Can I reset shit? Apparently nothing. Whoa! Well, we're lucky we dodged that shit. Can't go back now. All right, come on, let's go. What's up, dear? I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Ah, oh, jeez. What's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. And I'm betting this is the beginning of the beginning.
Well, that's episode one, Chrysalis, from the Life is Strange game. So, judging from what I'm seeing, this is probably, uh, I missed one character, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and skip this real quick. But, um, I missed one character. I don't know who the dude with the bong is, and I feel really, really sad for Kate. I really gotta check on her. I gotta see what's up. Why is she so sad? What's going on? What is going on? I have no clue. But this is interesting and I need to know. So, let's see what happens. Chrysalis. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I reported Nathan, 66% did that. You made fun of Victoria, I comforted Victoria, 74% did that. I intervened to help out Kate, 82% of that was done by other people. Took the blame, I did, well, shoot, I'm doing what the majority of people are doing. Alright, next. You didn't let Daniel draw your portrait. I never met Daniel. I didn't meet Daniel. Uh, you didn't sign Miss Grant's petition, 49%. You didn't help Alyssa, uh-oh. You didn't erase Kate's slate, no, oh god damn it. You watered your plant, you didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test, you didn't touch Victoria's photos, you didn't write on a dirty RV. Um, you let the bird die. I don't even know what you're talking about. You broke Chloe's snow globe. Don't know what you're talking about. Didn't leave evidence. I read David's files. But I don't know about the portrait or the petition, and I didn't mean to not know about helping Alyssa. I'll have to tell Alyssa. To, I have to do something for her. What the hell? Holy shit! Episode 2. Out of time. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna exit off of here for a second. But yeah, um, if you like what you saw, like, favorite, and subscribe. I got some more of this story I gotta figure out. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Till then, see you guys. Bye-bye.